Hi friends, welcome back to SQL with Ravi Martha. So this is SIS video series. So any videos which I make on SSIS, I'll post in this particular playlist. So if you go to my channel and once you click on my channel name, it will take you to the playlist. So go to the playlist tab and there you can see different playlist names like SQL, ETL, SSMS tips and tricks etc and I'll create a separate uh, playlist that is SSIS video series so that you can go and refer to the SSIS playlist so if you for any new videos you can subscribe to my channel and tap the bell icon so that you will receive notification for any new video and uh, if you want to look out for these SSIS videos right just go to that particular playlist and you can uh, access it from there so in today's session we'll see what is a data warehouse and what is its architecture right so to understand that uh, I have a slide here so for that uh, before uh, jumping on to this particular slide let's take an example of uh, a company what is a data warehouse it's a database which is having the data from the start of the company till date right so it will hold entire history data and whenever we need we can access the database to get the entire data right so data warehouse nothing but it, it's a database which is having history plus the data till date right and it's you can say it's kind of a large collection of data business data that would help the organization to make decisions but they cannot directly make decisions but they have to do a couple of other things so let's start with an example so we can take an example of a pharma store example there is a startup pharma company and they have started with a small store and they have used sql server as the backend database and as their business is growing they have started uh, they have given different franchises to different other people and the, they have developed their own uh, ui and uh, transaction systems right and which is having the oracle some people are using oracle like that they have given franchise to different people and which are you who are using a different uh, databases example access crm i mean the different kind of backend databases right so and that pharma company should have should hold the entire data from the start of the company to till date right because they have to see how their business is go growing or they should analyze year on year like whether they are progressing or they are getting losses or they are getting profits they should compare year on year quarter and quarter etc to you know see the how their business is progressing so for that since uh, their franchise is using different databases they need to collect the entire data from different their particular vendors so for that they need to use a tool to extract the data from different sources so example this particular they will push a this is the target database right and the company want to push the data to this this particular target database and this is called data warehouse and this is simply a database right so they want to collect the data from each and every vendor and uh, who are using different databases since uh, this is example this let this be a sql server and they are using different the source vendors right they are using the different databases so now we need a tool that can extract the data from different sources that is heterogeneous sources right xml flat file access whatever it is so whatever the source it may be the tool should be able to connect to that the vendor source and should extract the data to this particular tar target database so that is nothing but the extraction and we cannot directly use that particular data 
we should cleanse the data or we should cleanse the data we should masses the data before we load it to the target example one such example if the one if the one of the vendor is using the gender of the customer uh, some people may be using uh, male as M and female as F right but some other vendor who is using the SQL server they may be writing the gender of the customer as male and female as the in their data so for that in the target database it cannot be different uh, forms right they should be a standardized structure and the data should be cleansed and should be stored in one single format for each column right suppose if some people are storing the date time and some people are only storing the date so that kind of uh, cleansing should be done and based on the architecture suppose if we are if you want to store both date and time right or if we want only date so that cleansing should be done while after extraction and then they should transform the data and then load so basically we have extraction here and we have transformation here and loading to the target database so this is that's why uh, the extraction is needed and transformation and loading to the this particular data warehouse so now we have collected entire data from all the vendors from the start of the company till date right now we cannot directly use this particular database for that to make it more efficient we need to develop on top of this particular database we should develop a OLAP cube or the or the tabular model right and with that the performance would be increased and once we develop the OLAP cube and or the tabular model right they can these are the sources for the other tools right that is called BI that is business intelligence tools that is data mining reporting or visualization example this is nothing but one of the example is SSRS or you can use power BI and here this is OLAP analysis like and the data mining so data mining nothing but you can predict the future so based on the data you can predict how your business is going to be based on the raw data whatever you get here right so that particular raw data will be stored cleansed and pro processed here and then after that it will be by doing the data mining we can predict the we can get the information right based on that we can take the decisions so that is also called as you know DSS that is decision support system most of the companies now are having almost all the companies now are having the DSS that is decision support system that is nothing but the data mining right so this is how the data warehouse looks like this entire process is called data warehousing architecture right so basically you are extracting the data loading tr transforming the data loading it to a target database on top of that you are creating a OLAP cube and or a tabular model right and by using this as a source you are using different uh, tools BI tools to connect to these data sources and you show it as a report right whether your business is growing or not uh, you can compare quarter on quarter year on year right half yearly like that you can compare and you can see whether you are are you achieving the, your KPIs or the company KPIs or uh, right the targets now we can segregate this so this extraction this part till here to here so to connect to different data sources and to load it to the target we are using the ETL tools that is nothing but SSIS we can use SSIS or Informatica data stage etc so there are different types of ETL tools available in the market 
So SSIS, what we are currently learning in this session, in this video series, right? So this SSIS comes into picture in this part. So from the sources to the data warehouse. So the anywhere, so the mostly here it is. See the con connecting to different so data sources and pushing the data to this particular data warehouse. Now after that, once we have the SSIS here, we can use SSIS tool or Informatica or whatever that is and this comes, so this part will be mostly done by the SSIS or Informatica, different other ETL tools. After that we can use OLAP cubes or tabular model example, you can use SSIS that is SSIS. So SSIS nothing but SQL Server Integration Services and the cube SSIS means SQL Server Analysis Services and BI tools nothing but the SSRS Power BI etc. The source systems right which stores a small amount of data that is maybe which is having six months of data or one month of data so that the day-to-day -day transactions will be fast so that is called OLTP system that is called which is nothing but online transaction processing online transaction processing and once we have pushed the data to the data warehouse and this is you know on top of this data warehouse we can build cubes tabular model right so that is called OLAP systems, nothing but online analytical processing system, right? This particular section will be done by SSIS and this particular OLAP cubes, right? This will be done by SSIS. And this particular thing will be done by SSRS. And we can connect to all this using SQL Server Management Studio. That is nothing but SSMS, which is a client tool to connect to these different types of servers. It may be, it may be reporting service, it may be analysis service, it may be integration service, right? So this combination of all these products right nothing but the business intelligence so which will help you to see whether if your business is growing or not so based on that you can take corrective actions so if if your competitor is giving some uh, offers and they're having higher sales right based on these data mining or the OLAP analysis you can see whether your sales are going down or up so based on that we can also take the corrective actions and we can improve our business so that's why the the decisions can be taken by checking the final output that is the what are the data which comes out to be the reports right how we are performing the com how the company is performing so that can be that kind of decisions can be taken by using these systems that's why this is called business intelligence and when you get the data it's kind of a raw data and we process that particular raw data and we get the information out of that information so based on that particular information we will get the we can take the decisions so that's called DSS, nothing but decision support systems. So by using business intelligence, right, we can get the raw data and we can process it to information based on the information we take, we can take the decisions on top of that, right. OLTP system, nothing but the online transaction processing system. OLAP, nothing but online analytical processing systems, right? So this is the high level architecture of the data where any data warehousing project, right? So, so this is a simple overview. 
So in the next session, uh, we will see what is OLAP system. We will talk a little bit about OLAP and OLTP system. And as we have seen where the SSIS fits in, right? The first uh, part of it, which is nothing but extract task from load, trying to extract from different systems and then integrating it to a data warehouse. So we, this is the part of the SSIS role, right? And uh, thank you for watching this video. Uh, thanks for your time. Stay tuned to my channel for other SSIS videos. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.